Hi everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make Tori no Shisomaki Tempura. It's chicken, wrapped with shiso, Japanese basil, then made into tempura. Simple chicken tempura is delicious already. But shiso, Japanese basil, adds so much freshness to it, and it makes it even more delicious. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this tori no shisomaki tempura, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. 10 to 12 chicken tenderloin, or you can use chicken breast instead. Shiso, Japanese basil. It looks like this. A quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of potato starch or cornstarch, one tablespoon each of sake, grated ginger, and soy sauce. Let's prepare the chicken tenderloin. I want to remove this tendon because it's tough and chewy. So prepare fork and paper towel. Put the tendon like this, grab it with paper towel and pour. And you can easily remove the tendon like this. Put the tendon, grab it and pour. And let's cut the chicken into half. Try to make them even. Add sake, soy sauce, and grated ginger. Rub it well. And let's wrap them with shiso, Japanese basil. Use a small one as is. And let's cut the big one into half. Okay, all wrapped. Let's make the tempura butter. A quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of potato starch, and a quarter cup of cold water. Flour and water is one to one. Give it a mix, but try not to over-mix it. Like this. It's still lumpy, but this is good enough. I'm heating up some vegetable oil in the frying pan of a medium heat. It's about an inch from the bottom of the frying pan. Let's check the temperature of the oil. Put damp chopsticks into the oil. And if you see small bubbles coming up like this, the oil is ready. Dip the chicken in the butter. Then into the oil. And fry for two to three minutes on each side.
it looks good. So let's take them out. Before moving on to the next batch, make sure to remove all the tempura bits. Okay, all fried and it's done. Time for the tasting. You can have it with tempura dipping sauce or simply with salt. Itadakimasu. She saw Japanese basil as really nice fresh flavor to it and it's absolutely delicious. Mm. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Tori no shisomaki tempura is the main, so it goes here. The main is deep fried and heavy, so let's have something light for the other dishes. Plain rice here, mushroom miso soup here. How about bean sprout and wakame seaweed salad for one of the side dishes, and some sort of pickles to refresh your palate for the other one. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!